Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. I'm This isn't actually my weekly grocery haul, but I record it anyway and it's going to be going up. Um, I had to pick up something for a recipe, it's something that you probably saw yesterday. But anyway, if you'd like to see what I got, how much I spent, all that jazz, then please keep on watching this non-weekly grocery haul. There we go. I do upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so it's about budget food, but also healthier food options. Make sure you subscribe, all that jazz. So, okay. So as you saw from the thumbnail, I actually found uh, discount produce, which that's been really hard to find lately. So found um, some red bell peppers, which is something I needed. So got those. You got three big ones. And then I want to make some eggplant parm. So picked up a three pack of these little baby eggplants. So yeah. Got those for 99 cents. So if it's in the red net bag, it's 99 cents. Um, I picked up some garlic bread that was on sale for 99 cents. Um, need it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of food prep today, so um, we got a lot of we got a lot of pasta um, and pasta sauce. So we do like garlic bread with our pasta dishes. Um, I did need a green bell pepper that they did not have on sale, and one green bell pepper was 79 cents ridiculous, but got it. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. So I got my receipt from the one store cause I did go to two different stores. Um, and they're just kind of mixed, but I have the receipts. Okay. Got some hot dog buns, some like homemade hot dog buns for like a dollar 50. So got this. Um, here's my other receipt though. Um, found this. This sounded really good. It's Bush's Sidekicks. It's Southwest Zest Pinto Beans in a red chili sauce with cumin and jalapenos. Sounds amazing. And they had it on sale for 69 cents. So pick that up. Um, picked up some brown sugar. Dark brown sugar. Let me know down below in the comments. How do you keep your brown sugar from going hard? Let me know down below in the comments. I need to know. I will put it in a freezer bag and guess what? Tomorrow it will be like a brick. Let me know down below, how do you keep your brown sugar from hardening? Let me know. I'm actually, I, I need your help. So help, help a girl out. Um, uh, I'm excited about these. Uh, found these, um, they're actually made in Italy. They are Italian jumbo shells crafted with golden amber durum wheat semolina. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, they're regularly $3.29. Got them on sale for $1.69. They're good until March 11th of 2025. Pasta here is outrageous. So when I do find pasta, I pick it up. Um, we don't eat a lot of pasta. We, you know, we there was a time when we'd have spaghetti once a week. We like spaghetti, but you know, we we but we're gonna be starting eating a lot of pasta again. But these look good. These are actually made in Italy, and. Um, yeah, and they're all fancy. So I've got that for $1.69. I am I'm I'm whole I'm excited about this. This is wholesome harvest, um, wholesome oat bread. It was on sale for 99 cents. It's regularly $4.49. So don't let it fool you though. It only has one gram of dietary fiber and three grams of protein. But still, it's a good loaf of bread for 99 cents. So I'm good with it. Um, I got a big bag of onions. Got those. Um, found these. Sean loves these, so we did pick them up for 99 cents. It's the little cakes that he likes, the German chocolate. So we got those for 99 cents. We got these Stonefire non whole grain wheat um, nons. It's a two pack for 75 cents. We've actually been making pizzas with these. We haven't been able to find the little pizza crusts on sale. Those are amazing, still from Stonefire. But the nans are good too, nons. Just don't let them get too much time in the oven or they get really, really crispy on the bottom. You might like your your pizza crust a little bit crispier, but you just need a few minutes. Just enough to make the cheese melt and the pepperoni or whatever topping you're using to go warm or hot. But they are really, really good and they regularly retail for $3.49. So got that. Sean found these. The, these are these wheat sub rolls. So um, they look really, really good. I'm excited. And they were on sale for $1.49. So found some mocha mix for $1.89. This regularly retails for $5.99. 
it's not the best creamer in the world. I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, it's just with the fat-free half and half being so expensive here, and then sometimes they don't even have it. So this is a good substitute. So it's not bad at all. And then, so that's what I got. So at one, one Smith, so the one where I bought like the green bell pepper, the mocha mix, um, the whole wheat sub rolls, I ended up spending $5 and 31 cents at the other Kroger. I ended up spending $12 and 73 cents. So that's what, like basically, so six plus 13 is $19. Yeah, so, right? Six, six plus 13 is 19? Yeah. What? Six plus 13 is 19? Yeah. So I spent 19 bucks at Kroger, which I feel like I got a lot of, I mean, I feel like I got a lot of food for for 19 bucks. Um, we stopped by the Dollar Tree. Um, I needed some more Ziploc bags, so got some Glad bags. Um, I got Quart and Sandwich. Um, got Sean a Dr. Pepper because he wanted one. My stomach has not been doing well because I binged last night on Rice Krispie cereal. Just cereal and a yogurt. So, stomach's not feeling great. This is why I can't even have any cereal in the house. Because I'm weak. Um, so I did pick up a little four pack of the Lemon Lime Shastas to help kind of settle my stomach a little. I haven't eaten today. Um, and I also picked up a little ice pack so that way we can have like picnics in the car um anyway we're doing like when we go out on saturdays that way we're not tempted to like stop by a drive through or something we'll bring like sandwiches and chips and a drink or something so i needed an ice pack so got this so but that is what i got on my non-weekly grocery haul um felt like i got a lot for my money and i'm excited to finally have some fresh produce in the house it's been real hit and miss here lately. And uh, anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, do you go grocery shopping once a week? Do you go grocery shopping more? Do you go to the store just to look around? Because I'm guilty of that. Let me know down below. And of course, you are more than welcome to follow me on my social media on Facebook and Instagram. And it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.